Strange how complicated we can make things just to avoid showing what we feel. Anything you can settle with money is cheap. We are forlorn like children, and experienced like old men. We are crude and sorrowful, and superficial. I believe we are lost. The first bomb, the first explosion, burst in our hearts. While they continued to write and talk, we saw the wounded and dying. While they taught that duty to one's country is the greatest thing, we already knew that death throes are stronger. We loved our country as much as they. We went courageously into every action, but also we distinguished the false from true. We had suddenly learned to see. It is very queer that the unhappiness of the world is so often brought on by small men. The war has ruined us for everything. For us, lads of 18, they ought to have been mediators and guides to the world of maturity. The world of work, of duty, of culture, of progress to the future. It will try simply to tell of a generation of men who, even though they may have escaped shells, were destroyed by the war. We are little flames, poorly sheltered by frail walls, against the storm of dissolution and madness, in which we flicker and sometimes almost go out. We are so completely played out, that in spite of our great hunger, we do not think of the provisions. Then gradually we become something like men again. How senseless is everything that can ever be written, done, or thought, when such things are possible. Our knowledge of life is limited to death. We were all at once terribly alone, and alone we must see it through. They are too grievous for us to be able to reflect on them at once. If we did that, we should have been destroyed long ago. I soon found out this much. Terror can be endured, so long as a man simply ducks, but it kills if a man thinks about it. Life did not intend to make us perfect. Whoever is perfect belongs in a museum. Keep things at arm's length. If you let anything come too near, you want to hold on to it and there is nothing a man can hold on to. Life is a disease, brother, and death begins already at birth. Every breath, every heartbeat, is a moment of dying, a little shove toward the end. That is the remarkable thing about drinking. It brings people together so quickly, but between night and morning, it sets an interval again of years. To forget is the secret of eternal youth. One grows only through memory. There's much too little forgetting. I want to think and at the same time, that's the last thing in the world I want to do. 
We have our dreams, because without them, we could not bear the truth. Never do anything complicated when something simple will serve as well. It's one of the most important secrets of living. Good or ill, life is life. You only realize that when you have to risk it. We were all at once terribly alone, and alone we must see it through. No soldier outlives a thousand chances, but every soldier believes in chance and trusts his luck. Sometimes I used to think that one day I should wake up and all that had been would be over. Forgotten, sunk, drowned. Nothing was sure, not even memory. The best way to lose a woman was to show her a kind of life that one could offer her for only a few days. Everyone saves someone at least once. Just as he kills someone at least once, even though he may not know it. Someone said to me once that a cigarette at the right moment is better than all the ideals in the world. We were 18, had begun to love life and the world, and we had to shoot it to pieces.